top altcoins to buy right now welcome back guys it's crypto rocker from rockstar trading channel and today guys i wanted to make a longer video on my thoughts on bitcoin whether it's the altcoin season and share with you my kind of trading strategy what coins i'm looking to trade what i'm trading just be just make a longer video and if you're interested if you're a fan of my channel you might be interested in watching this longer video because i usually make shorter videos on particular coins and and i've got some strategy videos here but today i wanted to make a longer video i used to make these people used to like it i've just not had a chance with the educational crypto full trading course that i'm cre creating and also just trading for myself has been quite hectic trading trading the s p and and gold and it's been very very hectic on the traditional market so guys without further ado let's get into the video especially guys bitcoin guys it is moving sideways and um, that's the importance of trading other markets because if you're trading crypto I don't know how you can get any trades here if you're especially if, if you're trading on the shorter five minute time frame if you follow the strategy that I teach and I've got a free strategy again you don't have to join my crypto course for it I've got a free strategy video on YouTube that you can get and um, you, you could use it the five minute strategy you will get one or two trades for you know a couple of percent profit but Bitcoin on the daily it's not really moving at all I mean it's not moving as much and you can see the ATR is just dropping and dropping and it's very difficult when it's sideways like this choppy range it's very difficult to trade you can see choppy so I've not really taken in trades in the past couple of days in, in Bitcoin I've taken an altcoin trade REN uh, I think is it REN I'm going to show you the trade that I took in a bit but yeah there's not much going on with Bitcoin longer term perspective guys we're still on an uptrend so my buyers have to be bullish we're still above my 20 EMA so we're above that guys so in a way guys I'd say we're bullish we're not breaking down and we could say this is a sideways triangle that will break upwards so at the moment I'm still waiting guys and I let the market tell me what what it wants to do it could have a break up and then break down and what I'd like is maybe a, um, a quick scam wick some people call it just to quit something like this we've seen it happen last year when we were going on that bull run you'll see big spikes down i could get some cheap bitcoins and it goes up that will be my dream some of the zones i'm looking at um probably 9100 um, 8000 5000 8500 and then the low 8000 range these are the zones i'm looking out for uh, where i'll be looking to trade i mean i talked about this uh, i think this was the pin um, this was the sort of zone that I was looking to buy initially and I shared a signal again this is not a signals group but, but I did share a signal where I bought um, some spot it's like some longer term bitcoins and if it does break out then I'm it's still in some and it's important to differentiate between trading and investing I do just hodl some bitcoin because I love bitcoin and if it goes without me and I miss a trade it, it saves me from FOMOing in so it's quite important to buy bitcoin so my thoughts on bitcoin uh, if you ask me I don't really have I can't give you a trading strategy by looking at that um get my bias if it breaks above this green zone my bias will be bullish you can see it's tried to break above it a few times it's failed and I was hoping that once it broke above it will make a high low and a higher high but it failed so this is what I'm looking at guys and the volume is dying down which is a positive sign we don't want to see too much volume uh, when it's going down so that's few few things that are positive so that's kind of my thoughts really if Bitcoin breaks out then I look to trade but at the moment I'm kind of sitting on my hands and wait to see what happens I'd love for it to kind of do a quick scam whip get people really bearish people will start selling saying oh it's going down again and then kind of run without everyone that will be my dream scenario that I'll be watching out and if it does break out guys I'm definitely going to trade if it breaks out below here or breaks out above that will be a trade I will be looking to take so that's my quick update guys on on bitcoin and uh, i would say if i had to make top five coins the top five coins will be bitcoin because bitcoin is so important some people get too excited i'm going to share about altcoins because altcoins have been really interesting especially icx1 and there's a few coins that have been really interesting so that's my quick thoughts on bitcoin guys let's look at um, ICX next. ICX is a coin that I have on here and it just pumped like crazy. I posted a signal I think on ADA I think it was which which was quite nice or I think it was Matic as a 7-8% trade uh, but I completely missed ICX and it just ran like crazy and the, the strategy that I've created that I tr teach 
um, to my members is uh, is this guys it broke a break above with volume and then it pulled back to my moving average with my indicator going up that is basically a strategy that I teach with a trend change and it this was a perfect trade I didn't take it someone in the group took it and I'm a bit jealous because he used my strategy and I missed my own trade so that was a nice trade but what I said when ICX broke out is unless it can get above 236 and this is something you don't get taught by you know just reading books or online this is something I've picked up myself from trading crypto for two three years and in and my trading it doesn't work as much in forex and stocks but it works really well in crypto and it, as it, when it couldn't stay above it guys I wasn't interested in it and it, it could be coming up to a zone to look to possibly buy and I'm gonna keep an eye on the shorter time frame to get an entry but at the moment guys I'm not too interested uh, in altcoins as much I want unless we Get a simple thing guys again you, you don't have to pay me loads of money to learn it the simple thing is higher high higher low and a higher high on a higher time frame that's how I took my best trade of this year which was Litecoin and I shared it live on here so if you're not subscribed guys and turn on the notification button uh, make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification button so you do not miss a video Litecoin I've been trading for over seven eight months people talked about Litecoin during the halving I talked about Litecoin seven eight months ago so that was an again i'm not saying i win all my trades but litecoin was a really profitable trade so that is what i'm looking out for icx guys if it can do that then i will be really interested in icx it is a coin that i like fundamentally to be honest but i did lose uh, a lot of money in icx so that's my thoughts on icx i think today the only coin that's moving is i think ftm i use a um sort of indicator that helps me uh, tells me which coins are pumping and again you, you can't just buy when a coin's pumping it just lets me know when a coin pumps four to five percent and I might if you're interested I might just sh start sharing it with you guys um, to might share share with you the link of the bot that I use it just gives me a notification of of what it's doing it's quite interesting but um, if you're interested guys I'd uh, I might be sharing with you it so that's sort of what I'm looking to buy guys I'm not too interested in in trading altcoins there's a lot better opportunities um the, i mean the trade that i took yesterday was silver and it was just a perfect strategy trade guys who are silver it's on the early time frame nice pullback three touch breakout boom such a nice trade there's lots of other opportunities uh, in in other markets that that you could be looking to take advantage of so let, that was ICX one chain. I've added one chain to my to my watch list because it's something that people people really want to hear. Where's one chain? There we go. There's one chain. And it was kind of predictable, guys. I mean, again, w look at where it stopped. bang on the 236 moving um someone in the group in the face we've got a free facebook group as well if you're interested in buying look at where we stop exactly at the 236 so and it could if it stayed above it then yes i would have looked to buy but at the moment probably in a shorter time frame when it's oversold i might look for an entry if you're interested in trading altcoins but at the moment i'm not very very interested guys so that's sort of my thoughts on one chain other coins matic i did take a trade in matic so it was this kind of pennant or a triangle, whatever you want to call it. You can see it's almost three touches. And I took the breakout. I think I got in before the breakout. And that was, I think I took 7%. Um, so I took 6.7%. And I posted it when I took it, took the trade, not an after the fact. And uh, yeah, when it went below this red moving average and couldn't get above it, that's when I exited the second half. So I took the first half off at 6, uh, six seven about seven percent uh, six point seven percent and the next one was I think around five percent that was another trade so I mean my thoughts on altcoin guys I mean if Bitcoin moves sideways and then an altcoins makes higher lows and higher highs then yes I would be looking to buy altcoins and what I talked about with ICX because these coins are so so beaten up they're really really beaten up you can see the uh, they've literally back to where they were before the parabolic moves um ICX is down I think something like 99% or something you know 98% these are so beaten up 
Um, so we need to see more action before they pump. If you analyze the stock market, the internet bubble, some of the dot-com companies, they have not recovered. So a lot of these altcoins will not recover. Only the, the best will survive. A lot of them will, will die down, unfortunately. Um, so you, uh, hopefully you won't be holding the bags. Some, I mean, the, another video that I made yesterday, um, a couple of days ago was, uh, where's that video? Was when to buy altcoins. You, you, you talk, I'll talk about my indicators that I use to buy altcoins, and one of them is Ethereum, and Ethereum is not doing well, and it looks like it's going to break down. I'm not shorting it here because it's a very, very long term support zone, so I'm not really looking to short it. If you look at Ethereum BTC, it's just not looking pretty at all, guys. It, it's looking really bad, and, and I made a video when if this broke this green zone, I'm going to sell uh, my Ethereum. And that was my last sort of Ethereum sales, and that was a big profit, I suppose. You know, it's down 20%, 25% since then. XRP as well, um, I talked about XRP, this level being broken. XRP is like now or never situation. It needs to kind of get a pump from here. So let's see if it can get that sort of pump that people are expecting in XRP. I think there's a, a USD, this, this cap could this be the capitulation candle we see it happen you know volume increase and then it starts going up so this is kind of the last hope for the xrp bulls if you want me to look at any other coins guys do let me know um i'm, I'm, I'm i do want to spend some more time uh, with you guys if you're interested I made a ada video i took a short term trade in ada but i said longer term hodl trades i wouldn't look to trade it unless it gets above that that red zone and I took a couple of trades, but it couldn't get above that red zone. So that's my thoughts. I mean, if you ask me the top five coins to look out for, uh, sorry, I haven't talked to you about Ren. I think it was Ren that I took traded. It was a 618 zone trade. So you can see guys Ren uh, broken out of this previous resistance. And then I started watching it. I got a notification. And then it pulled back to the 618 zone. I started looking at it. Also my 20 moving average volume died down volume started increasing on a shorter time frame it's only a five percent trade for me but uh, it was a nice little trade that's only old coins scalp trade that i took and since then i've not really taken many trades i might put, start providing signals but i just don't have the time to spend time because i do trade a lot myself so i don't get a chance to post as many signals so yeah, I might do one in the future if you guys, if I have more time and if people are interested. But it's more about learning how to trade, guys. Signals will help you once or twice. But if you don't know how to learn how to trade, learn about risk management. That was the first video that I ever made, like a two hour long video, an hour long video, just talking about risk management. And that's the most important thing because you can have the best strategy. But if you don't have the psychology and risk management guys you're not going to make money in this in this very difficult market guys so let's i mean i'm, I'm gonna make i usually every month i make a top five altcoin uh, altcoins to buy video and some of them have worked great previously yet last month's one didn't work well um, but the one before worked really well with link and matic and ren but this month guys um i'm going to talk about five coins that i'm interested in trading but i'm going to make an update uh, the reason for that is i want to see how bitcoin breaks out and how the coins perform after bitcoin breakout so that's the main reason why i want to hold it back but as promised i will tell you five coins one coin i'm interested in is ren um, first one is bitcoin it's always bitcoin but i'm going to give you five others so you can see it's forming pro probably an inverse head and shoulders what i want to see now is like a, a get above this with volume because you can see the volume sort of dying down which is not bad but I want to see more volume and it break out above this level this level that I've drawn what Fibonacci is that but yeah about the 50% mark it needs to break above that and if it breaks above this guys then I will start looking at um, Ren quite closely but it needs to get above this because that's another pattern that uh, I forgot to mention that because this happens quite a lot you'll see things broke down and retest and break down below so it needs to get above these two lines if it can get above these two lines and the moving average then yes 
Ren might have another big rally because it's a coin that likes to pump. So that would be my first one. Um, one, I'd have to talk about one because if one can, um, one chain can break up above that two, three, six level, or if it pulls back a lot. Usually, when coins break out, guys, especially when it when when it was old coin season and it was everything was running crazy, I used to watch coins that break out. If coins break out. They seem to have at least one pump. I'm not saying it will break into, you know, 100% moves, but if it breaks down, uh, it, it, you you usually see a five, 10% bounces in coins, and one chain have a lot of hype, so it could be looking for a pump. So one chain is the next one. ICX is probably another one that I like. It needs to hold this level, as you can see. It, it could be getting a bearish moving average crossover. Um, which is not good at all. Um, it could go on for months once it happens. It happened before where where we had a rally, then we had a bearish crossover. So it's something I do not want to see. But if we can do something like this, sideways movements and gets above the moving averages, then yes, guys, I will be interested in, in ICX. FTM is another coin that I like. It's another uh, Binance hype coin. I missed this trade, it was a perfect my strategy video um, trade. I missed that one, so I've let it go. But if it can it pull back, guys, I will be looking to buy pullbacks in FTM. I missed it, guys, it was such a nice trade, actually. It's a bit disappointing, but again, you win some, you lose some, you can't, you can't catch it all. This was a nice, nice little trade. The level I'm looking out for is um, if it pulls back to sort of the 618 zone, sort of this zone, uh, which would be 170, 160 zone, or if it breaks above 217, those are two levels I would be looking to buy and then probably pull back to the moving average as well. So the yeah, FTM is not looking, it's quite bullish. I don't know if, got, if it's got any news or not, but FTM is looking looking good. And the last one, I mean, I didn't know what to pick, to be fair. I wanted to pick Matic because Matic, even though um, it's not broken out as I would have liked it to, it's still not going down. You'll see other coins uh, that are going down. Matic is still sort of holding this level. So it makes me think, is, is, is there something up with Matic that we don't know about? It looks slightly different to the other, all the other coins. So those will, will be my five coins. I'm going to make an updated video uh, once Bitcoin has broken out, but those are my five coins. And I just wanted to give you an overview of what I'm trading, how I'm trading, um, just an overview of the markets as well. I mean, I don't know if you're interested in the conventional markets, um, but yeah, it's very, very volatile with Trump tweets and what's going on um, around the world, the p probability of recession, the news, people are getting crazy and and one thing I'd, li I'd, li I'd like to end this video on this i might make a longer video might make a video about me selling my house to buy bitcoin but one thing which is great is if if bitcoin it could go two ways bitcoin could be following the stock market and crash or bitcoin could work as a hedge where people sell stock markets to buy bitcoin so a bit like gold because gold is on a massive bull run if you want to Gold is in a massive move, as you can see, guys. It's been on a crazy, crazy move, gold. So those are two things that can happen. Um, if people sell their stock market stuff, stocks to buy Bitcoin, Bitcoin could have a crazy rally. I'm not saying it will happen, but that's what I'd like to see. Um, so yeah, I might make a video talking about my fundamental news. I don't know if people are interested in that. People seem to like more about my breakout videos rather than this. But I wanted to make this video because I know there's uh, probably 100 or 200 people that are very strongly enjoy my content, um, enjoy my videos, are big fans of my channel. So I wanted to make this video. So thank you very much, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're interested in it and more about learning my strategy and have a full trading course, then you can join this uh, group. I'm going to leave the link below. If you think about how much it costs for you to lose money in trading and potentially getting a full course for, for a few cups of coffee a month, then 
uh, I'd, rec I'd say it's a, it's a good deal so yeah do check it out see if you're interested if not guys if you smash that like button subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification button you'll make me a happy man that's all I ask from you so thank you very much smash that like button subscribe to my channel I'd like to end the video by asking you what is your thoughts on Bitcoin guys do you think it will break out up or down comment below Bitcoin up or Bitcoin down and let me know as well if there's any altcoins you want me to look at so thank you very much smash that like button subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys soon with another great video thank you very much